Hi everyone, I'm Jess Diner, Beauty Director at Vogue, and I am so excited beyond to be here with Patrick Tarr. Hi guys. Celebrity makeup artist and Shiseido global colour artist. Um, I think I could probably spend the whole tutorial just talking about your red carpet looks and all the amazing girls that you work on, oh, um, but I won't. Um, what we are here to talk about is how to incorporate a little bit of your red carpet magic into our everyday. So, um, basically to create this look. So I'm going to start off by doing your eyes. So the only product that I'm, I'm going to be using on your eye is this. This is the shadow, shadow gel stick. Just adding like a little, a little glimpse of, yeah. of life onto your eyes. That's what we need, life. Um, I need life on my eyes. So I'm going to be using the Nama Fude brush. Um, all of our brushes are are named after streets in Tokyo, so I, everything is inspired by Tokyo, where the brand is from. So this is the Minimalist Whipped powder blush. This is a new formula that I'm so excited about. I'm going to start off by centering it onto like the apples of your cheek. And what's the sweet spot of how knowing how much to apply? You should always start off with less and mm. then you can see if you need more blush mm. or if you need more oh. eye. And I think that's why um, so much of the makeup that you do for celebrities and red carpet is amazing because it just looks real. So I'm going to take the dye Food day brush. You can just dab that onto like your blemish areas. Sorry, or, I like, feel like I need to do this because it's great, and like you can clean it right away. I just want to make sure that I just blend the blush into your cheeks so everything looks nice and seamless. So we've done a bit of skin. Um, so we've done a bit of an eye. I love highlighter. This is the Oradu. This is in the color Solar. It's so oh. beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit onto like the peak of your forehead, mm -hmm. right above your contour, like. Yeah. You're not here to play, like. <laughs> yeah. I suppose that's a bit of like the red carpet ethos. Is even if you're not on the red carpet, is the attitude of like I'm yeah. messing about. Yeah. Now that your skin is finished, I'm I'm gonna go back and just finish off your eyes. So this is the Imperial Lash Mascara Ink. This wand is really great because it really it really just gets mm. to like the root of your lash and just yeah like that. Okay. They're perfect. So this is my favorite part. The bullet is shaped so that you could actually mimic a lip liner. So I'm going to start off with, okay. with, with the shade that's a little bit darker. So this is in the color Nightlight. I'm going to basically just tr trace your natural lip line. And then I'm going to color in with the next shade. Just to give you like a little bit of definition and a little bit of, a, I guess, a little contour. Lip contouring. I'm into it. Oh, that's amazing. Can we talk a bit about overlining? Yeah. Because I love how you can kind of slightly go over the natural lip contour. Yeah, yeah. You definitely always want to overline just in the center. So like right like on like the base of mm -hmm. the center of your lip and right on like the cupid's bow mm -hmm. to give the illusion of even more fuller lips. So now that everything else is done, I'll take a little bit of this blush and I'll just put it just right into your crease. So it just right. brings the whole entire look together. Do you normally tend to go for cream textures? I always try to go some, um, for products that are more creamy mm. just because so everything looks like hydrated and luminous on camera. Tell me what, tell me what you think. Major. Patrick, thank you so much. Thank um, you. Thank you for watching. This is our how to inject a little bit of major into the everyday. Um, thank you so much for watching.